How's it going, everybody? Y'all man, give me back with a new video. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all have been going so crazy. I've been releasing so many tips, tutorials to help y'all boys out. By the time we hit 50K, you should be elite at ISOing and playing stage, comp stage, all that good stuff if you ain't already doing that. Because I know some of y'all already doing that, you know? But I, this was probably the first time I took some time out of the year, you know? Just say, you know what? No excuses. No matter what, we just gonna grind. Whether it's tutorials, whether it's content, whether it's jump shots, whether it's whatever it is we just gonna grind no excuses no but no oh the game trash oh none of that we just gonna grind and in today's video it's about efficient iso scoring on the 1v1 slash 2v2 what i'm about to show you in the 1v1 does work on the 2v2 3v3s i haven't tested yet but it does work on the 2v2 smack that like button this is a slash and playmaker with sharp tape the bit the jump shot already released it's the jump shot from last video that has over 50k views now in under a week that is insane bruh and it's on gold quick draw this time so big up on itself hit that like button because y'all know what that like button does for us you hit that like button we keep growing as a family bro big up on itself bullet hit that like button if y'all been enjoying the upload schedule man now this is gonna be straight iso efficiency man you're gonna see efficient iso scoring right now Look who we going against. A paint beast Draymond Green, bro. A paint beast Draymond Green. Now y'all know you can be a 60 overall paint beast on the 1v1 and still get dubs against guards like pretty much any guards, man, that don't have Hall of Fame playmate. I mean defense. I'm on my slash and play with sharp tape. The key to efficient ISO, man. Y'all about to see right now. I got a big man on me, so you know I can't let him touch the rock. You, you, anything goes when you let a big man touch the rock. Look at the, the, the triple threat moves I'm doing right now. And look how much the defender is moving already. Now he gives me a free shot, and I get it to drop, man. That's a rare white from this jump shot. Promise you all ain't gonna see much white. Now once again, I'm sizing him up to see if he's... When I'm doing that move, I'm sizing him up to see if he's playing me high or playing me low. Right now, he's like in between, so I just get a step back out, start a combo. He doesn't know where I'm going. Look at him. He's all the way on the other side of the free throw line, bro. He don't know where I'm going. All right, Extendo, what is you doing? Now, right here, right here, I'm hitting him with the triple threat again. It's cheesy, but hey, it doesn't drain stamina or anything. Now, right here, he kind of played it right, but still, the moonwalk will save me. Dunk with a left hand for safety, so that right hand don't get smacked, all right? Now look at the score that fast. It's already 11 up. Now right here, he's still kind of confused to what I'm about to do. He's giving me all the space, not knowing that this jump shot is certified. A lot of y'all saying it's glitch for y'all. Honestly, I'm not sure why it's glitch. Make sure you buy your jump shots from the animation store, another green bean. Buy the jump shots from the animation store. All right, now, if you don't know how to do the triple threat move, it's literally to see, you see the jab I was doing to the left? All you gotta do is, Hit that left, that right stick to the left. For the right, hit it to the right. That's it. That's how you do these two moves. There's more advanced ones, but these are just the best ones to me. Now, right here, we're just gonna have go ahead and finish him off with some you know, neat and quick. This is not the only game I'm about to show you that this works on. This is efficient ISO. This type of ISO scoring is literally for the 1v1 event or when you're playing 2v2s and you're on a build that you know if you dribble too much your shot is gonna be effective, all right? Now, on the 1v1 court, this is how you get games over with fast if you got the rock. Now, obviously, if you're playing defense and you get the rock, you need to cook up, because it's not gonna start off with an immediate triple threat situation. Now, right here, I got a pure point forward on me. So basically, he's gonna be able to guard me better than the big man, but psych. Y'all need to watch the tutorials if y'all don't know any. If y'all don't know how to do any of the moves I just showed you, watch my tutorials, man. I re I released the secrets already. Now right here is playing me too high, I so I literally had a free run to the rim. Now next possession, he's probably not gonna play me as high. Boom! What did I tell you? But obviously, I'm not just gonna rush the shot. I'm gonna make sure that I'm ready to shoot. I'm not gonna be playing scary. This is just how you can streak up really fast as well too. Because after you win a game, you'll have the rock. And your jump shot's not gonna be affected because you're not dribbling as much. Now, right here, he played me right, but he doesn't know how to guard the moonwalk like that. And I could've, if he did know how to guard the moonwalk, I could've just easily AI step back and, and just ran straight to the rim again. Now, right here, he's just, he does not know. It's just hard to guard something like this, boom. 
And you'll see. The mascot is going to pay attention to what I'm doing. And he's going to leave, bro. He's not even going to want to to be up on that got next spot. Because I was just going to cheese him like this, too. It's not even... I wouldn't even call it cheese. Because I'm still hitting some good combos, all right? I wouldn't even call it cheese. Because you know why? This is IRL IQ. All my IRL hoopers out there know that this is IRL IQ. When I used to hoop, this is what I used to do, too. When I got a defender I know can't hold me, I'm calling for that ISO. I size him up first on the triple threat. Then I hit him with some moves. I'm trying to get him to touch earth. Touch earth real quick, brother. And then either I was going to dunk it, fade it, or wait for him to get back up. Shoot the three. <laughs> Anyways, man, look how fast the score got ran up again. And literally, my stamina is not even affected. He don't know how to hold me right there. I was trying to be too fancy, bro. You know, I could have just kept going to the rim, but what fun is that, man? We got a 17-0 lead. What fun is that? I, I trust the defensive badges on this build because I made him to where he can guard the rock. He can guard the paint as long as it's not a post score. He can guard the paint. Now, right here, that was just my mistake. He got me. He got me with a decent little move, man. This point forward is probably like 6'7", by the way. My slashing playmaker is 6'4". Remember that. Now, right here, he got a good move. He just didn't, he didn't green the shot, bro. And you know, once you let me touch that rock back and then you fouled, I'm going to put you right back in that triple threat situation, my, my guy. Boom. That's a three. That quick. I got sharp take. If y'all want this build, I have released this build already. And the video did do good, so you will be able to find this build. All right. Now, right now, it's 20 to 2. I'm trying to be fancy. I'm messing up my moves, obviously. And right here, I was, I am not going to lie, it kind of felt delayed. But you know what? We weren't, we weren't going to make no excuses, man. We weren't going to make no excuses. It did, it did feel like I was kind of delayed, man. But am I worried about losing? No, nope. it's 20 to 2. I still got takeover. I'm going to force him to shoot. He see how far the, the lead is, so guess what? He doesn't want to take no risk, man. So with this AI size up, look at this. I knew I was feeling delayed, man. Look, look how I was dribbling in the beginning. of. Look at this. Look at this. Look how I was dribbling in the beginning of the video. And then look at that now. I just decided to end the game. Now, this is a game without a triple threat. All right. And this is a game against a elite. All right. This is a game against basically my own build. All right. And you're still going to have to do efficient ISO. And the, the biggest thing about efficient ISOing is knowing when to shoot. And you'll see in this gameplay that even though I was cooking, there were sometimes I, I took some knuckle-headed shots, bro. Now, right off rip, this build is being put to use defensively. I got the rods. Obviously, I'm not doing triple threat at all in this clip right here. Just to show y'all that this is another way you can beat somebody is just doing moonwalks, literally. Now, if they know how to stop the moonwalks, now you see he got on the microphone. He's trying to get in my head. Wasn't having it. Boom. Right to the rim, bro. Efficient ISO. Sizing him up. Boom. With AI cross, too. AI size up. Look, man. Got him. Take the mid ranges if you need to. I don't have takeover booster. If I did, a lot of these games would have been done a long time ago. Now, right here, he's spamming me, man. Luckily, 2K gave me the benefit of the doubt. And if you notice, I got Floor General on Hall of Fame. I didn't even set my badges up to, to guard the 1v1. I didn't even set my badges up to cook on the 1v1. Think about that. Imagine if I would have slapped on Hall of Fame, Anchor Breaker, and tie Handles. It would have been much more, much more difficult for the defender to stop me. But right here, I tried to get a hop step dunk. Now, clearly, he had that stuff on lockdown, all right? And I'm putting my defense to the test. I got them. I got them defensive badges too. I made mine right, even though I made him 6'4. He still gets a pretty high block. And interior defense. Now, right here, he hit me with a curry teleport behind the back. And I was able to get a stop on it. 29%. And I'm running out of stamina, but that's enough to do the same thing he tried to do to me. But you know, I'm close to sharp take, so I'm letting it fly. When you're close to sharp take on this build, bro. It feels like Hall of Fame quick jaw. It's almost like Hall of Fame quick jaw. Now I got to hit him with something nice, man. I messed it up. But if at first you don't succeed, look, man, I'm messing up my combos. You just gonna have to combo up out of it when you make mistakes. He, he don't know what to do. He knows I'm playing for the three. What more can you do? If I'm playing for the three, you got to press up, bro. But if you're 50, bro, 
they ain't gonna play up on you, man. Just keeping it 100 with you, bro. You gotta learn how to shoot. Now, right here, I released this jump shot. Give it a try, man. If it's glitch for you, tweak the blending or something. It's not glitch for me on either Gold or Hall of Fame. I'm not sure why it's happening to some people. Maybe you gotta buy the jump shot animations. Now, you see, I only missed two threes, and both of them was heavily contested because I was being a knucklehead. All right? It is what it is, right? We move forward. We got him. Move walk. Crossover. Boom. That's game. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, man. I'm trying to drop bangers for y'all, bro. Big up on yourself. Big up, Lord Almighty. Cause we don't count the nut, nut. Ah, uh, GB on the done with a ten goal. Yard man, gaming. Gone.